to the Green Room on Casting Workbook. I'm Natasha Gorgiulo. In 1992, a father tries desperately to fix his life and his relationship with his son. Now, the film is based on the turbulent L.A. riots following the Rodney King verdict. The film stars Tyrese Gibson, Scott Eastwood, and the executive producer of this film is legendary rapper Snoop Dogg, who shares the importance of bringing the story to life. Might get a little crazy out there today. A theatrical release, Snoop Dogg, the big homies on board as a producer. Uh, we got this red carpet. We got so much magic and energy. You know, having Snoop on board is so cool. I mean, Snoop's is as big as he's ever been right now. He's hosting the Olympics. He's doing things I never thought I'd see Snoop Dogg do, and I love it. One of the reasons was I actually lived through 1992, so I understood, you know, a couple of things that actually happened in that movie, and I felt like the story and, you know, the, the great acting and the great directing, I wanted to be a part of it in any way I could, and it just felt like it was a natural culmination considering that Death Row Records was really, you know, founded in 91, 92. Um, it just was so much around that year and around this whole movie that just made sense to come together. I lived this in 92, yeah. So this was a God wink moment. 30 years later, here we are. Where's my son? It's not going to end well for you. It's not going well for you. Watch me. I love the way Tyrese can just jump in character and become that person and you believe him the whole movie. This was deep because he had to play a father of a young teenager in the city of Los Angeles dealing with all of the things that he probably was dealing with as a teenager. So to reverse that and to create a, a, a character and to make it believable, have passion, heart, soul. I mean, I rooted for him on screen. I really rooted for his character. A lot of times we see Tyrese as this fun, bombastic kind of character in the Fast Furious uh, franchises, but you know this he dug deep and he really went for something a little more raw, a little more gritty. Uh, so I thought he did a great job. Gonna be on the edge of your seat. It's a heist movie. It's a crime thriller. It's it's a real crazy movie. I just want people just to enjoy a great piece of art. There's really so many messages and lessons in here. It's hard to try to pinpoint one as opposed to just respect the art and the craft and no one understand that this actually happened. It's a real story and we can be better by watching movies like this. Mm -hmm.